So my dear ones, who am I going to speak about? Well, the most, most awaited lady of the zodiac and that's the Capricorn woman. Who is she? What is she? Um, a Capricorn woman for me, she appears to be really shy at the beginning when I look at her or she can also look very smart, okay? The first impression that I have got about a Capricorn woman is either shy or, you know, like reserved a little bit, you know, and uh, otherwise really smart, you know, like like a career woman. This is what she is for me, a career woman, a smart woman, okay, well-dressed and, uh, you know, I could almost confuse her with a Virgo woman, but she is not the Virgo woman, she is the Capricorn woman, but she, she has this kind of a spark, you know, when you look at her, she'll be a bit slow to start conversing with you and when she starts conversing with you, you are at ease. I mean, I get along very, very well with Capricorn women. One of my best friends is a Capricorn. So uh, I have a very good understanding with them. And I can see that um, even though they are very earthy, uh, very, very, you know, pragmatic, this is what I feel. But this lady is very pragmatic, very earthy, very, you know, tangible. She needs tangible results for everything. She doesn't live in the dreamy, way world okay uh, like me a <laughs> Piscean uh, but she will live uh, in a world that she can touch she can feel uh, she has to feel because that's her security this is the security with a with a Capricorn woman that I have seen is that uh, she needs to feel that stability and to feel that stability I feel that she works really hard and this hard work comes in her life from a childhood I've seen many Capricorn women uh, don't have very easy childhoods. Uh, there is one factor that I see in many Capricorn women is that they have gone through certain, uh, you know, setbacks uh, at a very young age. And because of that, you know, they are propelled. Like, for example, mo most probably their parents were very busy who couldn't take care of them. So they were raised uh, by a nanny or they were raised by... Um, by the grandparents so because of that they you know learn those uh, traditional values from them uh, because i see that the capricorn woman is really really traditional in her approach also for her the family comes first of course after the career <laughs> because before she's not settled in a career she will never go for a family right she has to have something that she calls her own she wants to be independent she will never want to rely. That's the last thing that you can expect a Capricorn woman until she has, a, you know, a, a moon which is more in the dependent signs, right? So here she will be very much wanting to be very independent. And from a very young age, you see that. She'll be very smart. She will, uh, even if she's slow, uh, she makes her path and she goes and she gets what she wants this is what i have seen like she will always start slow uh, and she will put in everything when she has to give it's about everything i've seen that they work tirelessly they're tireless workers the capricorn women they're tireless workers they will they will just they just keep on working they work outside then they come in the house then they're working in the house I mean, where is your stop button, my dear Capricorn lady? Where is your stop button? Does it exist or not? You have to cool down sometimes because this is what life is all about. Work, 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 work. Yeah? 9 to 5, 9 to 7, 9 to 8, work. Come home, work again. I think the only time that she doesn't work is when she's sleeping. I hope she doesn't dream about work also at that time. The other thing that is very wonderful that I see about Capricorn women is that um, she's, she's very family oriented. For her, family is a lot. You will see the Capricorn women will always have a picture of the family uh, in, you know, in the house. They will stick some pictures here and there. They have to have that because that is uh, the, their roots, their connections, they will never forget. For her, family matters. That is extremely, extremely important for her. And for that, she sacrifices a lot. A lot in the sense, really, really a lot. 
to the extent that she will forgive her infidel partner just to hide just to hide that the family is not in a mess whatever comes from the partner which is not right she puts it under the blanket if he has some extramarital affair and she learns about it she will definitely not be happy about it she will fight it out but then she will say this man belongs to me how can i give this man away to somebody else and then she will try her level best to save that relationship even if she sees that the whole thing is crumbling still she will go through that pain if he's addicted to alcohol drugs whatever it is she will go through that pain just to retain this man she will go through it until really she just can't do anything or the guy walks out or something happens that forces us to say now that's enough i can't take it family is very important when she has children of her own with a particular you know with a particular partner with her husband then she will forgive everything just to maintain that family structure it's very very important she's very traditional on those things even if she loves a man a boyfriend also if she really loves him she will do whatever it takes to save that relationship and if she doesn't you know because she she will test a man before she enters into a relationship she will see where is all this going she might you know go ahead i mean for her she's not the romantic kinds you have to know that not before okay she's not very romantic she as i said she wants tangible things so she will see where is this relationship going am i on the right track is this relationship going to give me something stable in life because i need to have stability in my life this is what is very important for her the stability part and if she sees that this is just a you know wishy washy person then uh, she's not going to waste her time she has her ambitions her ambition is to have a wonderful house a nice husband who is good person and who has a good job that means they are not on the streets one day yeah and she needs to have her family and when i say a family you have to know is that uh if this lady accepts you as her suitable partner you better pop out the ring soon okay so that <laughs> you are securing that relationship and she feels secure also that this is not what i wasted my time on you know she doesn't like to waste her time she is very very practical lady all right and she has her emotions well also behind that practicality okay she will just show a very you know uh yeah unaffected look but inside she can she can be very hurt and all but no in public i have seen a big smile is on her face and she carries herself no matter what her personal life is going through what is a you know whatever it is going through she will have a smile on her face that confidence she will show that i'm still doing good and that hope is there the i would call the impossible hope that she carries uh, inside of her is incredible the capricorn lady has that hope you know and she hangs on to that for very very long until really um, somebody removes that disillusions her from what she was hoping was really worthless yeah so then i see over here in the capricorn lady is that when you pop out the ring for her and she marries you well when you marry her you marry her whole family <laughs> so be ready if you are the kind of person oh i like to be i like to be uh, you know on my own i like to um i like to have my own time off or i i would like just both of us our children or you know once in a while some friends uh, then i would say my dear capricorn lady is not for you no you back out all right because when you marry her she marries your family and you marry her family also at the same time so well <laughs> if her family is very very big uh, then you better have some extra rooms in your house or make place to welcome all of them and never say anything wrong about her relative she doesn't like it she will not forgive you if you have criticized her mother or her father 
No matter how small the debate is, she will not like it. She will pick a fight afterwards. Why did you say that to my father? Why did you say this to my mother? Yeah. So be careful about that. This lady is all about family ties and foundations and bonds. All right. So she might say after some time also, uh, my brother uh, is start is going to come to study in this particular city. I feel um, uh, it's better he doesn't stay in the hostel. I would not like him to stay there. Um, I think he can stay over here. What do you feel? Well, you better say yes. You say, okay, fine, no problem. But even if you say that my sister would like to come and stay here for a few days because she has to prepare for an exam which is around here, she will welcome her. Even if she doesn't get along well with her, she will welcome her. She will uh, take care of her. The hospitality part is very much there in this lady. And that's why she loves to treat the family at home um, for Diwali, Christmas, Eid, for all those big festivals. Uh, she will welcome all the family members. She would throw a big party or a meal. They will, you know, you will be lucky person because she she will gather all your family members and her family members and there will be a big, big get together. And then you will feel like a blessed person. Even if, I have noticed something about Capricorn women, is that even if she doesn't get along well with your relatives, um, with your side of the family, still she will make efforts, you know. Still she will, <laughs> still she will smile, you know. She will not show that, she will not show that. Because they are your, they are the guests, they are here. How can I, you know? She will smile and she will serve them smilingly. This is what she does. Even at work also, if the same thing applies until somebody really rubs her the wrong way, then if she, then she can be a bit, you know. Uh, first she might forgive for some time and then she will try to complain to the higher authorities or if she herself is a boss, then she'll put the person straight. She will fight it out then, all right? This is the kind of the Capricornian nature that she has. I've also noticed that uh, these Capricorn ladies, they have some kind of artistic talent in them that they hide so well because they are so much immersed in their work. Uh, but I've seen that really they, they will be painting or they might have that interior decoration, you know, that knack of interior decoration or even constructing certain things I've seen a friend's uh, mother, oh my God, when she's on the holiday, she will always be doing some kind of renovation work herself. And it's like, wow, she's really gifted because she'll be painting all the walls and she'll be doing all the mosaic and things like this on there. It's, it's really, you know, that energy and that artistic quality is in, in many of the Capricornians. They'll be painting, singing, dancing. Also, they love to dance also. Uh, because Capricorn is half goat and half fish, right? So that dance part comes from there. And then uh, some of the Capricorns, they will be like, um, uh, yeah, they will, they can play some musical instrument very well also. So this artistic thing also is a trait of the Capricornians. And uh, we will feel that this person just works and works. But then when there is a, <clears throat> when there is a party, excuse me, when there is a party or something, uh, the Capricorn lady will be really like, you know, she might just sing a nice song for everybody. Oh dear, we didn't know you sing so well. Or, who did this painting? Oh, it's me who did that painting. Wow, you paint so well. Or, wow, you, you stitch that beautiful dress. Yeah, so this is how it is for them. They have those hidden talents that when you get to know them or you are their partner or friend, Slowly, slowly you come to know about that. Or, oh, you cook so well. Yeah. And she does cook very well. Because even if she doesn't, you know, like, as I said, since childhood there is always something that is thrown as a challenge to her. Or she's forced many a times to be independent. So this is where she learns things on her own. And not from others so much. She doesn't learn from others. It's through life, you know. And, and I see that how she can be, you know, that family oriented that sometimes she can just uh, you know be a prisoner in a relationship many a times I've seen Capricorn ladies 
who are prisoners in a relationship because they know that the husband doesn't love them and still they are with him. Why? Because of the children. Because the children need both the mother and the father. So they sacrifice. They sacrifice a lot. And yes, if you are that traditional guy who doesn't want his wife to work because you don't like women working, yeah, <laughs> in many countries that can be one of the trends that, okay, I'm working, why do you have to work? And she will first see, okay, how much do you earn? Will you be getting enough money in the house? If the answer is yes, then she'll say, okay, I leave my job. But if the answer is no, she will never give up her job. You better write it down. She will never give up her job until and unless she is sure that you earn very well and you are capable of handling the family and sustaining it, materially speaking. Yeah? Until then, she will never give up. Another thing I've seen about the Capricorn ladies is that uh, she loves to shop, yeah? She loves to shop because she likes all those branded clothes and all also, yeah? Uh, of course, the earth signs, they, they, they love, you know, those. But I've seen uh, my friend, I used to go, you know, with her sometimes to shop and she would always, you know, want to get some nice branded things also, you know. Or not even branded, I would say something really nice, you know, they would like to buy for themselves. And uh, uh, she would enter the shop and all and then, then she would just see, you know, either it's a jewellery, the watch or uh, a nice dress, you know. So she'll just go and she'll just uh, say, okay, for how much is that? And then she'll start bargaining, you know. And has to be like, wow. And she would go on and on until she would really get a nice price out of that. And then otherwise, if there is no chance, then she would wait till the sales and go and get it. So she would dress like a diva, but not paying that price. So this is how those Capricornians, they are the ladies. They're always very smartly dressed and very well dressed, you know. They will dress like a diva, but they have to have that bargain because they, they really like it actually. It's a thrill also. Is that I saved some money out of something. I got what I wanted, but I saved the money. That's very important for them. That money part, it's not about the money. It is, I save my stability. I am retaining my security, you know, because this material security is extremely, extremely important for a Capricorn lady. Mm. You better know that. And uh, she will follow you till the end of the world, you know, for your job. She will do that. Or if you say, I am going to work abroad, she will say, okay, you can go and earn. I will keep working here and I'll take care of the family. And uh, many a times what happens is that in this, she loses her relationship also because she sees that the husband or the boyfriend is having good prospects somewhere. So she allows him to go because she trusts. She's a, she is extremely foolish when it comes to trusting. I have to say that. She just trusts with closed eyes, she trusts them. And then the guy goes. Well, she visits, you know, in between. She goes, she visits him and things like that. But then she is so much trusting that she forgets something. Is that he is a man. And if he is not a very faithful man, he is going to go wrong. And even after knowing that also, she will still try to, you know, maintain that relationship for the children. I have seen it. And it's a very hurting experience because for her, it's like, you know, how can a person do that? And I said, well, anybody can do anything. No, but I trusted him. Yeah, and he broke your trust. And how you trusted him? For months to months, months and months together, if the person is alone, what do you expect a person to do? No, but I would visit him. But how can I leave my children? Because they are studying. So I had to take care of everything and then visit him and things like that. This is the biggest blunder that many Capricorn ladies do. And if they are lucky, they can save the relationship because they can go and join him and somehow they can revive it. 
but many a times they lose the relationship. So my dear Capricorn woman, be very careful about that trait of yours. It's nice to trust but not blindly. No, blind faith is not good at all, my dear Capricorn lady. Not good at all. So you have to really take care of that trait in you. With the children, how is she? Wow, she's really, you know, very discipline oriented. Because she's a Capricorn. Okay? Discipline is very, very important for her. Your children, my dear Capricorn ladies, cannot be impolite. They are not allowed to be impolite. They are very well mannered. She really disciplines them very well. They will be soft spoken. Um, if you are a spiritual uh, Capricorn lady, you will impart that knowledge to them and you know, they will never forget to say their prayers before they go to bed or before they have their food and you know, on important days. It's very, very important that for you to cultivate them and this is what you do you really you know you cultivate them and you try to give them that independence from the beginning in the sense you are there you are taking care of them but at the same time you're very ambitious about their lives you would want your child to really really become independent financially has to stand on her feet your daughter has to stand on her feet your son has to stand on his feet so you will try to put them into things where for example, on summer camps, okay, okay, instead, why don't you go and, you know, help that uncle who runs the bakery? Maybe you can earn something at the age of 18, she will send her son over there. Or, okay, you have done that, all right, uh, okay, this is your gift on that. So, you know, like this, she will cultivate her children. And she's a very good listener because she understands a child. She will listen to the child and... It will take her to her own roots, her own childhood. And accordingly, she will sort out these things for her children. If a child is hurt, immediately she will, you know, immediately she will try to see what is to be done. Because she is so much connected to her roots, you know. So many a times what happens is that she will use those remedies in the modern world also of her roots. And that's really wonderful. Even when it comes to her own cosmetics, she is somebody who has very, very fragile, uh, not fragile, but sensitive skin. So she can get a lot of problems, you know, on her skin if she uses some hard chemical, harsh chemicals. Uh, because she's a sensitive soul who doesn't tell everything to everyone. So inside of her, she has chances of having migraines a lot. Uh, then, you know, uh, the PCOD she can have a lot also. Then she can suffer from ulcers also just because everything is blocked inside of her she rarely wants to show because she doesn't want to rock the boat she she's very earthy you know she wants to be grounded but many times she absorbs like the earth you keep putting water whatever you put on the earth it keeps on absorbing 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 right so this is how she is she keeps absorbing but she doesn't realize how much harm she does to herself in that whole story and for her skin, she will try to have something natural. Whatever, she wants something natural. Most of the Capricorn ladies will go for parallel medicine. They will never go for, uh, you know, they will run away from allopathy. They will go for, uh, say, acupuncture, acupressure, digitopuncture. Uh, she, she will go for homeopathy, phytotherapy, you know, this, uh, everything, whatever is natural, appeals to her. And she will always want to do that. And that's something very good about her. Because, because she reads a lot on those kind of things. And she nourishes herself uh, with the natural things. Always for food also she would like to select something that is good for her family's health. And yes, the Capricorn lady is a real nurse when it comes to a sick person in the family. Especially... Uh, the old people in the family. She will leave everything and she goes. She will go, she will take care of them. Uh, whoever it is of your family or her family, she will go and she will be there. Uh, even if you are a friend of a Capricorn lady and you say, oh, it's such and such a person in my family is not well and you're far, she, and she's somewhere around, she will take time, no matter what, how busy she is with her career, uh, she will go and she will go and meet them or she'll give them a call and she'll ask them 
how things are, what do they need, you know. That is a very wonderful trait that she has. Always wants to help uh, those who are in need. She will want to volunteer and because of that also she volunteers. She's very much concerned um, also, uh, you know, about social issues. So she will write petitions and make people sign it or she will be at the lead of a, you know, of a women's group, of a women's club, who are fighting for women's rights or who are fighting for the nature or ecological causes. She needs a cause. She's so close to the Aquarian thing, you know, so this is what happens also over here. That she needs a cause also. She can be the leader uh, in such activities. And she's very smart. She has a very, very large friend circle also. This is what I've seen. Lot and lot of friends from different walks of life and from different age groups also. She will always, because she's always, you know, she loves to chat, she loves to speak, and she's always smiling. And uh, she will always, you know, uh, right from the vegetable vendor, you know, she will, she will uh, have friends like that, you know. She'll always discuss with them and all. So she has a very uh, good way of relating with different people at the same time. So her circle is really, really big. And you better be good to her friends also, huh? <laughs> this is what I have to say. What else did I find? Well, what else did I find about her? Yeah, as I said, she's very, very level-headed, very sensible and very practical kind of a lady, you know. Very level-headed. You can count on her during difficult times. Uh, she will not like you giving up on things, you know. She's somebody who's like, oh, we don't stop on this, huh? We have to get out of this. Okay, okay, what happened? Okay, this is the problem now. Let's do something about it. Even if she's dying inside of her, but she will revive herself and she'll try to do a lot of things. Yeah. Even if she's too tired and you say, oh, tomorrow uh, I feel like inviting my parents over for dinner or for lunch and your friend, she's too tired. You say, okay, okay, fine. And she'll wake up early in the morning and she starts preparing with the full zeal. <laughs> this is what the Capricorn lady is all about. And last but not the least, as I said, she's not kind of a romantic, very romantic and cuddly and all that. Uh, she is, but in privacy. She's not, you know, she's a bit traditional on those things also. And uh, she will always, the moment she has her eyes set on you and you have given her that stability, then this Capricorn lady will, no matter how you are in your life, where you are, maybe you have nothing with you except a, a job that promises stability long term, she will look at you like a prince charming. You have to really stand to that level where you give her that, okay, I am the strong tower whom you can lean on, not the paper tower that you lean on and I fall hmm? and you fall on. It's not like that. When you give her that, then you are her Prince Charming and she will go to any levels just to be with you, just to protect you, your children and just to hold everyone together. This is what the Capricorn Lady is all about. She has tremendous faith in God. Sometimes her faith breaks because of certain happenings in her life. But she believes, silently, secretly, she believes that there is a higher force. She will go to this higher force to get this grounding, this inner strength. And that's how the Capricorn Lady is. So if you have found a Capricorn Lady of in your life, retain her because there is no wonderful gift uh, that you can give to your family than a Capricorn lady. She will always be around and uh, taking care of everyone, no matter how they are. She will always be smiling and welcome them. The doors will always be open for your relatives and for her relatives. Also, you have to do that, <laughs> yes. So that comes to an end of the series on the ladies of the Zodiac. And thank you very much my dear Capricorn ladies, for being kind, for being so patient that you waited one full year. And I think this is a good gift <laughs> for the Capricorn ladies because it's coming in November and there we are entering after, yeah, 
a little advanced gift I would say <laughs> so well my dear Capricorn ladies thank you so much for watching and all those who are related to them watching there uh, so please do let me know how did you like the video and yes do let me know what are the points that I must have missed because it's so vast you know so I would really like you to give me some more points also that I must have missed and uh, yes you're wonderful ladies I mean that family attachment is so rare these days that you carry inside of you so be the gem always my dear Capricorn lady so take good care of yourself and I shall see you next time with another video until then bye bye god bless please do like share and comment bye god bless